All right. I just want to preface this by saying I am not the greatest Smash Ultimate player, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. Okay, so Joker is finally here. We have all waited over four months for him to arrive, and many of us a couple hours extra, but all that matters is that he is here. And the first question on many people's minds is, how good is he? Now, Joker has a pretty good toolset. He has a projectile that does damage over time, a tether recovery that has ridiculous vertical range, a counter that charges meter, and a gun, which isn't really that good. All of his aerials and smash attacks are pretty fast, and when you combine all of that, it makes for a very solid character. Joker's playstyle is very similar to a character like Sheik, which is very combo heavy and focused on racking up percent rather than killing. And unlike Sheik, Joker actually does damage with his combos. Because of this, they balance Joker by making it difficult to kill with him at reasonable percents. Honestly, his only somewhat reliable kill move is back air. Now, this would be a problem if it wasn't for his persona, Arsene. Arsene is like a combination of Cloud's Limit, because it enhances your specials, and Shulk's Buster and Smash Monado Arts, because it increases the damage and knockback of every move. But Arsene doesn't have any downsides. Arsene just makes Joker pretty ridiculous to deal with and increases the character's potential by a significant amount. So, in conclusion, Joker has a very solid moveset with high damage and combos, solid kill options with Arsene, and insane potential. These reasons are why I think Joker sits at the bottom of high tier. I do think he will go up in tier lists very shortly, but because he is so new he doesn't have a lot of tournament results and top players have not been able to put in that much time with him. Joker definitely has the potential to be top tier when he is fully optimized, but for right now, I am very confident in my placement on, of him on my tier list.